Hey guys, Pitmaster here. I'm here to talk about my favorite topic, which is martial arts. I'm going to get specified now into my martial arts. There's so many, you know, factors in, in my martial arts training and, and teaching. Fitness happens to be one of them. And I look at fitness like um, strength, power, cardiovascular conditioning, um, flexibility, mobility, all of that is fitness to me. What I'm going to talk about today is there's ways to make your cardiovascular system so much more efficient. And it is the number one way, number one way to live longer and healthier is take good care of your cardiovascular, you know, pulmonary fitness. And, and, and what better way to do that than train Train hard, and that's the number one way that you're gonna build that up. Important, you know. It's also very important your diet, you know, and sleep and relaxation. There's a lot of factors, but the number one factor is you getting out of your comfort zone and training really hard, pushing your 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 heart rate, your your pulmonary capacity, your circulation. You know your 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 muscle, your muscle building and muscle flexibility, all of that stuff is is so important, and it's going to keep you living longer and healthier. You're going to have a better life, and it'll be longer. You get to play with your grandkids, run around with them, pick them up. You know, be strong, be the strong grandparents. You know, not the the weak, feeble ones. Okay, so. One of the things that some of these geniuses, there's geniuses out there now, you know, studying the cardiorespiratory system and how we can, you know, be in better shape and how to keep it healthy longer. And they're, they're making leaps and bounds now where before we, you know, we didn't know that much. You know, we thought eating, we eating, you know, white bread with a, with a bologna sandwich was healthy. We should eat, we should eat bread three or four times a day, you know? So we know a lot more now. And one of the things that they talk about a lot in the, in these health, uh, you know, exercise physiologists, etc., is the VO2 max. And the VO2 max is the be measurement. It's like the Holy grail of, of, of metrics to how healthy are you? Now it's a, it's a complicated test, and I'm sure it's pretty expensive. You know, they they hook you up to to mask where it's going to measure your oxygen and your your CO2. Sometimes they even take an arterial blood gas and and measure your you know your CO2, your pH, your oxygen dis disassociation curve, and they get really technical to see how fit you are. We've dumbed that down a little bit because. I'm I'm dumber and, and it works better for me. So I've made it so their VO2 max training is directed towards martial artists. Let me tell you what I mean. Your average VO2 max workout to build up your VO2 max is like say cycling at like 85% of your, your heart rate max. 85% of it cycling on a stationary bike, a regular bike, or even a treadmill or a rower or something. Something you're doing to get your heart rate up to 85% of its max. And then they want to keep it there for four minutes. You know, so four minutes, it's not really a sprint, but it's working pretty freaking hard. You know, it's a very extensive mental toughness type wor workout. Then they rest for four minutes and then they work, you know, then they get back on the bike again or the rower or whatever, and they go up to 85% of their max again. Then they rest again for four minutes. They usually do this four times. So four minutes of rest and four minutes of sprinting four times. So, you know, it's, it's like a, you know, it's like a 32 minute workout or something. And it's a, it's a, it's an investment and you get out of your comfort zone during those four minutes. 
But I want to I want I want to do some martial arts stuff during those four minutes. I want to get I want to build up my skill, my martial arts skill while I'm getting my heart rate up and 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 getting my my pulmonary system in order. I want to I want to practice my martial arts too. So this is what we do. We'll do two minutes really hard on an airdyne rower treadmill whatever. Two minutes really hard. Get your heart rate up there. Then get off it real quick. And then go hit a heavy bag as hard and fast as you can for two minutes. So that's four minutes of hard work. You could also do, if you don't have those machines, you could also do burpees for two minutes. Then jump right on the bag. Burpees, you don't need any. You don't need anything but the ground and gravity. Okay? So do that four times. With four sets of rest, but during our rest, our martial arts rest, I want you to shadow box. I don't want you to shadow box hard. I just want you to work on your techniques and build up some some muscle memory while you're exhausted and you're getting you're recovering. Okay, so two minutes of an extreme extreme exercise like sprinting on a treadmill, sprinting on an airdyne bike or or a rower, right? And then getting right on a bag and just going as hard as you can for the next two minutes. And then shadow box for four minutes right after that. Repeat four times. So it's very similar to um, to the VO2 max type workouts they have. They just ride a bike for four minutes, then rest four minutes four times. I'm doing two minutes of, of, of really hard work on a machine or the ground, burpees, and then getting on the bag. The reason I do that, it's kind of hard to get your heart rate up, 85% on the bag. We can do it close, but this this way, it's a little more efficient. We're getting that we're getting that heart rate up, doing something that's a little more taxing on your cardiovascular system. Then you go right to the bag and finish up the two minutes as hard as you can. So now you have a total of four minutes. Two minutes on the machine or the burpees, two minutes on the bag. Okay? Then four minutes of shadow boxing. Repeat till you have four and four. All right? That is what you're going to watch our guys doing. What our guys are doing here is showing you how to pound on that bag once you jump on the bag. Okay? Because once you get on the bag, you still got to push it hard. Because I want you to get that heart rate up around 85% and try to keep it there as close as possible for four minutes. Then active rest of shadow boxing for the next four minutes. Okay? I hope you get that. Here's uh, Keep watching and I'm going to show you how my guys get on that bag after their two minutes of burpees and start pounding the bag. All right? All right, thanks for coming. Keep training hard. If you got any questions on training, martial arts, fitness, self-defense. Oh, my God. Lolly. Oh, that was cute. That was a little lolly bark. Self-defense or relationship advice. Hook me up. Send me a DM. You can, I, I do that almost free. It's practically free. I have a pay, PayPal if you want some uh, relationship advice. And I am pretty good. I mean, you know what I'm getting into now, too, is fashion. I'm becoming like a fashion police. They call fashionista. me a, I'm a fashionista. And if you want some fashion advice, too, hook me up. Write me a DM. I'll tell you how much it is. Not much. Five five figures, but whatever. All right. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming. Dolly, we're taking lunch. Bye.